notebook packed in my bag. I'll go get it so you can help me get started right away. All right. Also, get your favorite pen along. I'll help you begin writing then. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I have my notebook, Daddy. Okay. Let's start by first writing the date. That is, the day, month, and year on the top corner of a fresh page. December the 30th, 2011. That's good, Zizi. Now you may address the diary as a friend and write, Dear Diary, or just continue to write your diary entry. Okay, Daddy. You must also remember some important points while writing a diary entry. Write the diary entry in the first person, that is, I or we, since this is your personal story or personal account of the event. Write the events in the correct order. Begin with the events that occurred first and end with events that happened last. Provide important details of the place, time, people or things that were part of the event. Write about your feelings in detail and explain why you feel that way. Remember to be yourself. You can draw or stick pictures to make the entry more interesting. You may use simple or informal language, but avoid slang. All right, I'll start writing now. Dear Diary, Today was an exciting day. Grandma took me on a surprise outing. We left home at about 9 a.m. and boarded a bus. A few minutes later, the bus stopped near a large gate. Beyond the gate, I could see a long road with well-maintained lawns behind which stood a tall white building called the Brook Museum. A cheerful guide took us around to see the ancient marble statues, crockery, things made of ivory, beautifully carved old wooden furniture, metal statues and a treasure trove of historic things. We were so engrossed in seeing all this that we did not realize that it was noon. Grandma had packed some tasty cheese sandwiches and strawberry cake for lunch. After our delicious meal, we returned back to the museum to continue our tour. We went on to see a good number of clocks collected from different European countries. There were bird cage clocks, bracket clocks, grandfather clocks and skeleton clocks from the 18th century. It was nearing 3 o'clock when 
the guide stopped near an unusual British bracket clock and requested all the visitors to gather around it. As the clock struck three, a miniature toy soldier came out of an enclosure and struck the gong thrice and returned back to the enclosure. It was time to go back home. I enjoyed every moment of my visit there. P.S. I missed Fleck a lot when I saw the clock. He would have been delighted. I wish he was here. Didn't bring that. Monster Math presents Edition Below 10. Okay, class, let's, let's begin. I have finished writing my first diary entry, Daddy. This will always remind me of this exciting outing and the good time we had here. Yes, and you can even share your memories with Fleck when we get back. I will, Daddy. Thank you so much. Didn't we have lots of fun learning to write a diary with Daddy? Let us quickly go through the points we have learned in the lesson on writing a diary. A diary is a written record of personal experiences, thoughts and feelings. It can be considered as a friend with whom you can be yourself and share your intimate thoughts and emotions. You can keep a daily record of the people you meet, the exciting things that you do at home or at school, the memories of a holiday or commonplace everyday events. You can use a ready diary having dates printed on all pages. You can also use a notebook as a diary. If the diary does not have a printed date, write the date, day, month and year on which you are making the entry on the top corner of a fresh page. You may address the diary as a friend and write Dear Diary or just continue to write your diary entry. Write the diary entry in the first person since this is your personal story or account of the event. Write the events in the correct order. Provide important details of the place, time, people or things that were part of the event. Write about your feelings in detail and explain why you feel that way. You can draw or stick pictures to make the entry more interesting. Simple or informal language but avoid slang. Bye! See you soon! It's break now. 20 lakh per annum. Yes, you heard it right. This is the amount on an average a freelancer is earning Let's get right back. now. Thank you video. Okay guys, so we saw the video. We learned many things in that. So, revise your homework once again. You can write it on your notebook, knowledge. Okay, you can do it in comment box and send me. Okay, write in comment box and send me if you want. Because none of child is ending it off. Okay, so today we launched topic diary writing. I think it's pretty clear. Okay, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.